안녕하세요. What's up everyone, I'm Dan and thanks to Neon Hive, we'll be looking at Doomsday Paradise for Steam. This review was written by the ever amazing DD Bash. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you like the review. With that said, let's get into this. Developed by Lemonade Flashbang, Doomsday Paradise is a quirky multiplayer dating sim that combines unique visual RPG elements and deck builder mechanics as you try to find love before the world ends. You start the game with an introduction to the backstory, discovering that you reside in the beachside paradise called Sunset Town. Though it has beautiful weather and breezy beaches, it is constantly under threat of annihilation every week. As a response to the never-ending threat, Sunset Town has recruited some prominent figures who are extremely strong but also extremely uncommitted to saving the world. Among these heroes is your potential love interest. There are several romanceable characters from a kind and generous doctor to fiercely competitive warriors. There's someone for everyone and everyone is romanceable, even the strangers you meet along the way. Since none of these eligible bachelors or bachelorettes find saving the world cool, it is up to newbies like yourself to take up the role and find love along the way. Fight demons, flirt with your crush and find as many rare items as you can in 5 days before the Dark Knight destroys the world. In terms of gameplay, it's a mix of choose your own adventure and turn-based card battling. You decide how you want to spend the last five days before the apocalypse by interacting with the events that are triggered each day. Some of these events include making others jealous by agreeing to be the muse for a local bard or helping some demons purchase armor. You can even choose to flirt with your crush throughout the whole run in the chance that you win their heart in time for a date on doomsday. The choice is up to you. There are quests you can complete during the run that reward you with certain friendships, items or abilities. Upon your 5 day journey you also encounter goblins and demons depending on which area you visit. Doomsday Paradise is both single player and multiplayer with a single player run ranging from 10 to 20 minutes and a multiplayer session will run about an hour or two depending on how many friends you have in your party. Once you can play by yourself this game is made to play with others. It also has full controller support with the option of using mouse and keyboard. Doomsday has quite a bit of replayability as it has over a hundred different endings depending on how you beat the end boss, who you choose to romance and the character you pick. There are also 400 different unique events which allows for hilarious hijinks and dialogue. Doomsday Paradise's artwork is visually striking, the singles are beautifully illustrated and the demons are distinctly unique with great animations. This adds an incredible amount of personality to the already vibrant story. Doomsday Paradise is a treat for you and your friends whether you choose to destroy the world yourself or fight to the death to defeat the Dark Knight together. Fight and fall in love or be shamed by the fact that you aren't wizard enough to win Vando's cold heart. Either way the journey you go on will be filled with a lot of laughs and some lows. If you're familiar with deck building games then you'll feel right at home however the combat is easy to learn with various difficulties to help those who want a more story focused run. With the amount of written content in this game there is so much to unlock and discover. Doomsday Paradise would be a great addition to your collection of dating sim multiplayer RPGs. It's a zany fun and unique game which allows for plenty of replayability. Doomsday Paradise is currently available on Steam priced at $12.79 in the UK Big thanks once again to DD Bash for writing this review and to Neon Hive for providing this review copy. Happy New Year, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's party time.